Hey everyone, I'm Sly and I'm here with D. And today we're gonna to talk about Thor knocking out every opponent he's been sparring with, professional opponent. Now, before you do watch this video, can you like and subscribe? That would be great, helps out the algorithm of the video. Now D, check this out, man. So his trainer is telling us that he's knocking everyone out. Is that making you more confident after we both picked Thor? Uh, not only that, but also just by looking at uh, clips of him training and sparring, um, he's getting very tight. So what I mean by that is, he, like I was saying in the last video, he's not bringing his hands down. He's not like um, throwing wide. He's just uh, is staying close in, very sharp, very protective, and just boxing smart. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm very confident. I, I like what I'm seeing out of him. I honestly, and even with Eddie Hall, I like what both guys I'm seeing out of them because it looks like they're both like taking it serious. They both have um, their skill sets. And so I think this is going to be, a, we're only 11 days away. Mm -hmm. So I, that's why I think like this is going to be a great um boxing fight yeah and you know honestly hearing what billy nelson uh, thor's trainer was saying how you know he's just he's dominating and sparring that's what you want to see you know that's what you want to see you want to see him basically take out these guys and the fact that he's taking out these professional fighters it's like come on man like every, all you guys that were picking eddie hall it's time to flip. You guys still have time. You guys still have time to flip it, guys. Because we're, we're, we're giving you guys little Easter eggs everywhere. Easter egg, Easter egg. You got to see it now. You got to <laughs> see it now. It's time, baby. It's time right now. You look at Thor, man. Like I said, he's like he is a bit of like Frankenstein, but he's crisp. He's crisp. He keep, like you said, he keeps tight. You know, he has the fundamentals as an actual boxer, you know, keeping your hands up. You don't see that with Eddie. Eddie's unconventional you know he has his hands down when he throws that jab he goes all the way up that doesn't really work in a real fight guys it just doesn't you know maybe he does that because he, he'll he knows he'll get tired i don't know and if that happens oh dude it's over yeah. we've seen that in too many professional boxers we've seen it in the amateur guys we see deji deji just fought you know what did he do man he didn't throw any punches why because he knew he would gas out I'm telling you guys, this is going to happen. He's going to probably guess out by the second round, and then Thor is going to pick him apart. So, I mean, this right here, just add it, just basically, it's the cherry on top. Like, I'm confident, baby. It's going to happen. Yeah, and how you, um, and then just add on what you said, how you train. Though, so, the whole point of training the, uh, in your gym, whether it's hitting bags, hitting mitts, it's for you to develop your skill set and then transition it into the boxing fight. Mm -hmm. Okay? Thor, he's been doing that. He's been training in the in the gym, and then he's also carried that to the to the fights, and that's why he's been building his fight experience. Mm -hmm. And so when I see these clips of him with his gear, and he's like doing like pad work, or he's like sparring against his opponents, and he's very tight, very good defense, and uh, throwing his jabs, um, going to the body, those are things that are gonna transition into the real fight. And so like as you were like saying, you know, with Eddie Hall, um. Curious to see if he's going to transition that into the real fight because when I see him sparring or not sparring, uh, well, just, uh, sparring and hitting the pad work, he does have his hands down. He does have a um, good, like, uh, decent speed for his size and he has a nice jab. But again, you know, you got to transition that into the boxing ring. And if you're doing already bad habits, you know, not even using your legs while you're throwing your power shot and you're having your hands down and then you're bringing your hands up to like jab, it's just like it's all predictable, you know. And so that's why I'm still sticking with Thor. I like what I'm seeing out of him. It is boxing. Anything can happen, but I'm confident Thor's going to pull it out. And I'm excited, man. We're only like just like a little less than a week away. Yeah, man. It's right around the corner. I can't wait. And make, guys, make sure to like, subscribe. We're going to do a post fight right after the fight, guys. So make sure to check that out. All right. We'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.